Hello everybody, it is Marcus. I am doing a quick show of some experimental texture packs that uh, was released for the newest update and some people still trying to figure out how to get stuff working. So I'm using a texture pack that I just created out of complete random and here's some of it already showing up. So I took the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Chaos Emeralds Super Emeralds, all seven of them, and replaced them with the gems. So they look like in the inventory, this is the item, and then of course this is the gem. Uh, a lot of people asked, how do you find certain IDs? Well, here's one thing you should probably do. When it comes to the items, just go to, uh, just go to the website on Terraria's wiki. Uh, just look up the item that you're looking for. So let's say Rod of Discord. And we want to edit the Rod of Discord. Its ID is 1326. So we're just going to go ahead and look for the item in our thing here. 1326. Um, there's something wrong with my windows. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to open it up regularly. And there you go, there's the uh, Rod of Discord. So you can find some of the items, some of the things, by their IDs, like the items, for example. You can also do it with the projectiles. So, like, um, let's say we don't know what the projectile is that we're looking for, and you want to use the Stardust Dragon. The Stardust Dragon has three different settings, but um, let's just search it. Stardust or Stardust Laser. No, that's not what we need. Stardust Drill, Stardust Cell. Okay, we have the cells actually. So we're looking for the projectile and it's 614. So we gotta look for 614. And it should be right here. There you go, there's the Stardust cell. Now that's the small one. The bigger one is right here, which is the 13, because there's two of them. What they do is they shoot small ones out. And I don't know why they're the same size, but I guess somebody decided, you know what, I'm just going to use the same size. Uh, Stardust Dragon seems to have multiple parts, which is the head, and the body, and the tail. And his ID is 628. So let's go ahead and look for that. That's the tail. So I'm guessing 27 is the body. And 26 is... Oh, he's got a second part of his body. It's the hook. So 25 is the head. And there's the head. Okay, so that's that. And he's facing straight up. But the game sets him up for something else. So projectiles and item ID should be fairly easy to find. Just look up the ID and then grab your assets if you've already extracted them you can find it on Terraria forums it's easy to just extract them but what about certain other things like for example how did I do the gems um, there's two things there are the items which I don't know what they were item uh, 20 now was it 26 I think it was 15 22 that was one of them okay so there's the amethyst and I replaced that one, but that isn't the gem. The gem is called gem. You would replace that with gem zero. That's the one that floats above your head. Or let's say the heart pieces you pick up. The heart pieces are items. It's item 58, if I'm not mistaken, the basic one. It doesn't replace the um, Thanksgiving version and the Christmas version, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. Uh, those you'll have to find the IDs of that, but I'm pretty sure. Again, just go to the website. Terraria. No, what am I doing? Searching Terraria in Terraria Wiki. I'm looking for heart. So probably that would be the best thing to do. And you'll notice it'll say that it's 58, 1734, and 1867. Just search for those, replace them with whatever you want, and there you go. Proportions. Um, if the item has no animations, I've noticed this. You can make them any size you technically want. Like I made a heart, and I made it the size of a giant 
box thing. Now the hitbox doesn't change. Okay, that's pre-programmed in Terraria. So if you have an item that's the size of I don't know half your screen, and you're walking into it, it's not going to get collected. It literally is only where the hitbox is. So try to keep it in proportion. Otherwise, it's going to look very unusual. So here's what my pack looks like. First things first, I've replaced the um, the gems, obviously. They are now circled and I've also replaced the item. They look like the giant emeralds all together. Now they're not going to fit into the sockets, but the game already has those changed so you can't really make it look like I think the gem lock is sapphire I gem lock I think it's they're called gem locks aren't they or sapphire lock whatever they're called they're gonna look different from these they're gonna look like the originals so that won't matter so then we got I might as well kill myself and see what happens they should split and I've dropped all the emeralds and now they're just floating right there. I mean if somebody else picks them up they'll be gone. And then I have them all again. Collected all of them for Supersonic if you had that mod. So what else did I change? I changed the flickies. Uh, the ravens, excuse me. Right, I'm just gonna get rid of these chaos emeralds. Okay, you'll notice that the buff, it still says Ravens, but you can see that is a Flicky. And the Flickies are right there. They're called Flickies because if I can find them on my computer. Actually, let me just search Flicky Sonic 3. You'll notice them. Ah, let's see if we can even find them. Tails has them as super form. Don't know where I took the, there you go. See here is um this is Super Tails version. I don't know why I can't blow it up. I just this is it. They're actually super form. I didn't take the super form, I just took the regular ones. But that's where they're from, and Tails has four of them circling around him. And I did the exact same thing for Terraria. They just replaced the um Ravens. Uh, surprisingly, the game sometimes lags when you're capturing things. So the jam locks got replaced, the um, buffs got replaced, and the raven projectile got replaced, and it works very well. There haven't been any glitches or issues I've noticed with texture pack replacing, but supposedly you can practically replace everything. I used two different settings. One was the RGB format. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so you'll have to experiment with that. Somebody has claimed that you don't need to make it indexed. I couldn't get the freaking ravens to be replaced until I did that. I don't know why. Maybe it was a specific setting and now it will work or not. Um, if you're looking for a specific item, I suggest you use the Terraria wiki. Or if you have T-Shock, you can search item uh, let's say you're searching for the mana crystal. Uh, you'll just get a bunch of lists here and you'll see their IDs. Their IDs match their um, image files, so just make sure you use that. Uh, mana booster, for example, is 3455, so if you want to replace that one, do it. That one's animated, if I'm not mistaken, so make sure to uh, have multiple sprites for that. And as always, guys, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I'll see you in the next video. There's nothing more to learn about the texture packing. It's pretty much much easier than it was when you had to extract them and pack them back up. Now you just need the image, so it makes it a lot easier to just patch it over. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, follow on Twitter, or go on YouTube, and you can watch the videos again. I will see you guys in the next video.